How's it going guys and welcome back to another video. So we are over at the grass field because I want to start work on this today. So the idea is eventually to get sheep into this area. Now this plan might change but it is the plan for now. Problem is the grass growing here is a really low quality grass but I don't want to waste it. So what I'm planning here is to come in, mow all of it, bale it up and then we'll come back plow it, reseed some grass, fertilize it, roll it, and grow a nice high quality grass in this area. Now, ideally, I would like to have square bales made out of this grass, but we don't have a square baler. Now, the reason I want to go square bales is just because it's easier to store. They take up a lot less space because you can stack them. But... I had a look around and even on the second hand market, there is nothing that's even close to our price range. So we have a round baler sitting over at the dealership. So I think we're just going to end up using that for now. And if at some point we do see a square baler coming up for sale and we have the money available, then we'll get one. But for now, we'll just do round bales and just deal with it. So we also don't have a mower. So I had a look around. And found a few, actually, of really nice, your standard, um, attached behind the tractor style mowers. But then, I came across an advert of an old John Deere self-propelled mower. And that thing really caught my attention. And um, do we need to close the gate? Probably not. I mean, there's nothing there, so I'm not gonna bother. But, I phoned up the guy, and it ended up being Tom, that sort of farms... A little bit up north from here we've actually done quite a bit of work for him in the past and we actually bought our little tiger car from him as well so i spoke to him and he said the thing is in perfect working condition he actually gave it a service recently it has been sitting outside so it's quite dirty but that's fine um it's obviously got a bit of wear and tear and all on it just from age but it is in very good working condition and he wants nine thousand dollars for it now it's a lot of money but I looked at some of the other stuff and they're not that far off from that price so I think I do want to go with that mower so we're gonna go up and have a look at this thing a little bit later on but I think we'll take a taxi up there because I'm about 90% sure that I want to buy this thing off of the photos that I've seen and the information that I got off of Tom um, but that thing is not gonna fit on our trailer so we're gonna have to road it back so we'll take a taxi up there, and if we do buy it, we'll just drive it back. Otherwise, we'll just get a taxi back. Just wanted to check on the bees real quick, make sure they're still doing fine, which they are. So we're going to have to go up and grab the pickup truck. Because we have got three pallets of tomatoes sitting over here, and some honey and eggs. And they can't really be sitting out here for too much longer. Otherwise, they're just going to start to rot. I don't know what the market's like, but it's not a huge quantity, so really doesn't matter that much but we'll take it to market today anyway even if the prices are bad but i'll check that in a little bit i don't think i've got the front loader no i don't have the front loader on the massey the massey is still getting replaced by the ford but i want to see sort of where our finances are before i take it in to get that front loader attachment put on the ford so We'll get the mowing equipment and all done first, and um, yeah, then we'll look into that. So hopefully the Ford doesn't sell before we can do that. Because if someone comes up and makes me an offer for it, I am going to take it and we'll just keep the Massey. But yeah, kind of hoping that that doesn't happen. We haven't actually sold that much as of late. I guess it's sort of been off-season, so there wasn't too much going on. But yeah. Anyway, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Right, let's head back over there. I'll get the front loader hooked up real quick. We'll get the pickup loaded. I don't think we need the trailer. I think we'll get all three crates or pallets of tomatoes on here. And the rest we'll just sort of stack on top of that. Um, I also noticed that Zach has bought a new pickup truck by the looks of it. Because that's been there for a while now. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe it's just someone visiting, but I think he might have bought a new truck. I actually only noticed it last night. And I also saw that 
his truck was gone this morning. So I wonder where he went with that. Maybe he sold it. I don't know. I don't really know what Zach's ever up to. Um, right, that should be fine there. Give us a bit of room to get that loaded up. So I'm going to get this done real quick. And I'm going to check the market. Normally we go up to Johnson's Farmer's Market. But um, I'll just check it. Is that um, still connected up? Yeah. Okay, let's get that disconnected. Um, normally we go up to Johnson's Farmer's Market. But I'll just check the prices. If there's no huge difference, then we'll just head up there as usual. Otherwise, if someone else is offering a substantially different amount higher amount um for some of the items and we'll maybe go somewhere else but we'll see anyway um i'm gonna get this loaded up so i'll see you guys in a second all right so we've got everything loaded up and we are heading over to johnson's farmer's market so their prices are very similar to everyone else's so i'm just gonna go there because well we've been dealing with them a lot and um yeah i'd rather just support them but while we're on our way there we probably have to talk about the whole Michael thing. So I thought about it a bit last night and I came up with what is probably a very, very bad idea. So I'm not going to phone the police just yet. I am going to wait until tonight and I'm going to go have a snoop around his farm and see if I can find anything suspicious. Because I never really trusted him. And now I do even less. But I want to see if I can find more evidence of anything. I don't really know what I'm going there to, to look for. But I just want to see if I can find anything that is suspicious. And um, then we can decide where to take it from there. If we find nothing, I don't know. Then I'll maybe speak to Jimmy and tell him what's sort of happening. And see what he says, what he thinks we should do. Um, if we do find anything suspicious, obviously we'll call the police and they'll take it from there. But yeah, I know I've almost got shot going to that farm in broad daylight before, but I'll be careful. I'll take the camera with and we'll just have a quick sort of look around on that farm and see if we can find anything. But yeah, we'll see. Anyway, I am going to get this unloaded real quick. I'll go in, uh, we'll get paid, and then we can probably drop the pickup at the dealership and we'll head up and take a look at that mower. So I'll see you guys in a second. All right, well, that is everything offloaded and we got $1,500 for that. So not too bad at all. Uh, clear that side. Beautiful. So, yeah, I mean, I know that it's probably... A really bad idea to go over to Michael's farm but I just kind of feel that I have to I want to go see if I can find anything myself before I let anyone else know about it because I sort of want to be sure before I do anything drastic but um yeah I don't know I I kind of I know it's a bad idea but it also feels like it's kind of a good idea we'll have to wait and see so we'll head over there later on tonight and um, see what's happening see if we can find anything but for now I'm not gonna worry about it too much we are gonna leave the pickup truck here I'm gonna phone a taxi and we're gonna head up to Tom's place and um, yeah hopefully come home with a nice John Deere mower cuz I'm quite eager to get out into that field and do a bit of mowing I do enjoy a bit of mowing so um, yeah it'll be nice to start work over there but um, I am going to phone the taxi and I'll see you guys up at Tom's place. All right. So we are at Tom's farm and I just spoke to him and he gave me the keys and he says it's right behind this bunker over here. Oh, I can see the, the head on it. Oh, please be good. I mean, I've seen the photos of it, but oh, look at that. Oh, that is so cool. 2280. That is so cool. I really, really, really do like that. Right. Let's hop in and um, see what this is like. Oh, yeah. I mean, very basic. Obviously, very basic. Starts right up. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. That is... 
That is brilliant. That is so cool. That is also top speed. That is very, very slow. Is it going to reverse all right? Yep. Perfectly fine. That is really cool. Everything seems to be working okay. It did say that it works just fine and cuts just fine and also... Oh, that is really cool. Man, that turning circle, that is al almost a zero turn. That is brilliant. Yeah, I think... I think this is coming home with us. Right. Let me go speak to Tom. And... We'll get the finances sorted out. And then we'll take this straight to the field and put it to work. Could probably do with a wash, but um Yeah, we'll wash it when we're all done. Right, let's have a chat to Tom, get this deal done, and we'll go home. Alright, well, that was quite the drive to get it back here, but we are back at the farm. And Tom actually ended up taking 8,000 for it. So he agreed to give us a thousand off. So that was fantastic. So we got it a little bit cheaper. So I'm very happy about that. But we are out here in the field and I want to put this straight to work and see how it does. Seems to be working all right. Oh, this is a, a steep hill putting it straight to the test. Seems to be coping with it okay. I'll probably run that hill up and down rather than sideways. Just because I don't want to flip this thing over. That would be pretty bad. That is looking really good. That is looking really, really nice. And it's operating at around 10 mile an hour. That I can run it at where it sort of feels comfortable which is not bad let's see how it does up the hill here will it maintain 10 miles not struggling yet this thing has got quite a bit of power oh that's it's doing it easy Drop down to 9 mile an hour. Absolutely perfect. This thing has got quite a bit of power to it. This is probably a bit too steep for it, but... I'll do one more pass here and... Then we'll run it up and down the field. Don't want to be taking too many risks with it, but that seems to be doing a really, really good job there. I'm very, very happy with this. At one stage, uh... I wasn't really sure if it's the right thing to buy, but I am so happy with that purchase. That is brilliant. I love that. Well, we are going to send the drone up and we're going to jump into a real quick time lapse. We're going to get this field knocked out. So for now, sit back, relax and enjoy. Stressing, counting all my blessings God, come get me out of this town Cause every day I wake up Wishing I could break up With the city light and construction sound I couldn't wait to move I had so much to do Was all I could do to get away But now that I'm here I'm filled with fear In the mirror when I look in my face Alright, well that is job done and this thing is just amazing. I loved that. That was so much fun to do and it really didn't struggle that much at all. On the really steep hills it bogged down a little bit but it really wasn't too bad. Not too bad at all. I'm very, very impressed with this new piece of equipment of ours. Well, new to us. It's definitely, definitely not new. And I really don't know where we're going to keep it. So we're just going to keep it there for the time being. So we need to grab the Massey. I'll get the front loader detached on that. 
And we'll run up to the dealership. We'll grab the baler. And um, then we'll get out there and do a bit of bailing. So, the rows are slightly wide. So, I don't know if we're going to be able to get it all in one go with the baler. And we don't have a wind rower or anything like that. So, I, I don't know. Maybe we'll just have to do two passes when necessary but we'll see we'll grab the baler and um, we'll see what happens maybe the baler is just wide enough to to pick up everything in in a single go but um yeah we'll have to we'll have to see otherwise we'll just deal with it accordingly if it is going to be a problem then i'll keep an eye out for an old windrow or something where we can just tidy tidy up the rows a little bit but it shouldn't be too much of a problem. But I'm going to grab this baler and I'm going to head back over to the field. So we're going to jump back into a quick time lapse. We're going to get the bailing done. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright, well that is job done and it actually went okay. It wasn't too bad at all. The baler was wide enough to actually pick up all of the grass in a single go, which was fantastic. I didn't think it would be wide enough, but yeah, that was pretty good. I think we ended up with about six or seven bales. Um, not too bad to start off with. Again, it's not a high quality, so I wasn't expecting to get too much off of that field. But those bales will need to be collected, so we'll do that at some stage. But while I was bailing, I got a phone call from a guy that wants to come and have a look at some of our tractors over here. So I said to him that I'll probably be done around 5 o'clock if he wants to come up then and have a look. So I'm going to hang around and wait for him to come in. And then we'll see if he actually ends up buying anything. And then after that... Um, we'll wait it out probably until about 11 or 12 o'clock tonight and then we'll head over to Michael's place and see if we can fish out anything over there that would be of interest. So I'm going to wait it out, see if he comes in and um, if he's actually interested and I'll see you guys in a few hours. All right, well, we are on our way to Michael's place, but before we talk about that, the guy that came up earlier to have a look at the tractors, he ended up really liking the white. So, and he bought it. He, he went for it. He didn't even hesitate. He took it straight away, loaded it up, and off he went. So we got 20000 for that. So it kind of feels like we got at least some of our money back. We did obviously spend quite a bit of money on that tractor, but that is gone now. And honestly, I'm really happy. We are quite low on stock at the moment especially with that white gone so we'll have to look into that real soon but i'm very happy and he was very happy so yeah that's all good but we are just about coming up to michael's place and i decided to come out with the mahindra just because it's much much quieter than the pickup truck and i can maybe hide it as well i've got the lights off now and i think i want to keep it fairly close to the road there's a bush here maybe we can just hide it in there That should do. Okay. So I'm going to stick sort of with this power line. And 
We'll make our way down. I don't see any other movement? But that's good. I can see there's some lights on down there, so we'll just keep our eyes out. Or eyes open, rather. I'll, I'll crouch down when we get a bit closer. Mm. I'll whisper as well. Right. Okay, let's, let's go across this road. I want to go into that barn first. Here we go. Jeez, that scared me. Oh my goodness. Right, so... I'm gonna go in here. Usually there's only tools and stuff in here, so... I'm not really expecting to find anything, but we'll have a look. Okay, there's definitely some lights on there, so we'll have to be careful. Right. Man, it's so dark. So it's just the trailer. Cultivator. Got the weed uh, we used the other day. Don't know where the tractor is, though. Usually it's in here. Oh, there it is. Right. Okay. Um, let's maybe make our way across the road through that gate. Yeah. Alright. So this seems to be... Some sort of, sort of a storage barn, maybe a hay barn or something? Straw barn? I don't know. Oh, there's some lights on there as well. These windows have curtains. Maybe it was an old, like, straw barn or something and it's converted into living quarters, maybe? So, I'm rather not gonna go there. Those sheds in the back there, that's more what I'm interested in. I can see sort of a door on the end there. Let's go have a look. It's so creepy out here at night. Just gonna stay close to this building. Yeah. In the shadow. Okay. Ah, it's locked. Right. Let's see if we can find another entrance. Maybe there's something on the other side. And I think there's two of these. Okay. Oh wow. Hang on. That's a nice motorbike. Why would that be here? Oh, hang on. Wait. Is this... Is this our quad bike? I'm pretty sure this is our quad bike that got stolen months ago. Wait, I still might have a photo of the chassis number on my phone. I, I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check if this is ours. Hang on. Alright, well, I found the photo and I checked it. And this is definitely our quad bike. Man, that sucks. That really sucks. I, I did not expect this. Anyways. I took a photo of it, and I think the best thing we can do right now is just get out of here. Man, 
I really, really didn't expect anything like that. Like, I mean, I always felt like something was off, but nothing like this. Man. Anyway, let's just, let's just go home. And we'll phone the police then. and quiet. Okay. I think we're okay. I think we're... We're in the clear. Oh. <sighs> breathe again. That was nerve-breaking. That was really, really scary. Alright. I think we're okay. So, um, yeah. I guess we'll, we'll go home. Oh, goodness. Oh my goodness. They, someone definitely saw us. Oh, my goodness. Not this. Oh, that's another one. Not this again. Come on. Oh, shit. This is bad. This is really bad. Oh! Okay. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on! Let's go. Come on, this thing is so slow. Come on! Can't see if anyone's following. Oh, my goodness. Not this again. Oh. Let's just, uh, let's just go in some way. Let's hide. I don't know if anyone's following. Let's go in here. Let's see. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Let's, um... Let's just park back here. Oh my. This is... Oh, this... Is bad. Okay. So they shouldn't know who we are. There's no way for them to know who we are. Okay. I just, uh, oh my goodness. My heart rate is through the roof right now. Oh, okay. I think I'm just gonna wait it out here for a little bit and we can get past that fence there and we can take some some back roads through the fields back home and I'll phone the police when I get home man this this is really really not good 